when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them to another, and to assume among the powers of the earth their separate but equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, a decent respect toward the opinions of mankind require they declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and institute new government, laying its foundation on such principle and organizing itself in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established shall not be removed for light and transient causes, and accordingly all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably that same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. It is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and institute new guards for their future security. Hi, my name is Jason, and if you're not aware, that is the first three paragraphs of the Declaration of Independence. And this 4th of July, I thought it would be important to discuss the Declaration of Independence. And on this channel, I generally avoid talking about modern politics. I just like to talk about the American Revolution. That's the part of history I nerd out on. But it's very important in these trying, confusing times we find ourselves to take some time and look back at the Declaration of Independence because no matter who you are in America, no matter where you fall on the modern political spectrum, if you are an American, we share the same American history. And it's very important for us to understand that history. Now, I know there's a, a, a very strong question that's asked that, uh, how could someone who owns slaves possibly write, all men are created equal? This is not a new question. In fact, in July of 1776, there were many loyalists pointing out that contradiction immediately. And I have to point out right away that the sad truth is, these people had to say it because they had the opportunity to. And it had never been said before. Not publicly, not out loud, and not as the foundation of an entire government. Somebody had to say it. And we need to keep in mind that they weren't saying, hey, this is what's happening right now, we're making this happen right now. They were saying, these are the most lofty ideals of how a human rights work and how a person's relationship to their government should work. And they were saying they were going to start fighting for those ideals then. And we are still fighting for many of those ideals now. In fact, as long as there are governments, they will probably be trying to seduce, uh, separate people from their rights. And it's up to us to continue fighting and to teach our children how to continue fighting. And definitely, <laughs> indefinitely. Now, Yes, the people who wrote the Constitution, I'm sorry, the Declaration of Independence were white men, most of them very wealthy. But that's not necessarily telling of who they were. There were two dozen of these men who edited the document over the course of two days, and truth be told, they had wide-ranging political beliefs. If they were alive today, I think we'd all be surprised on where some of them fell on the modern political spectrum. But it's just very important for us to read the Declaration because as Americans, we have a certain bedrock of political thought. And no matter what our beliefs are, whether consciously or subconsciously, they do stem as the framework from the Declaration of Independence. And I know it's been a long, hard fight, but the Declaration of Independence has launched revolutions around the world over the last 250 years, both politically and socially and domestically. Many of the social movements throughout our history have looked back at the Declaration and said, yes, that is what we want. 
So while I acknowledge many of the American founders could be terrible people, quite frankly, uh, we should not downplay the document itself. The Declaration of Independence is one of, if not the, most important political essays ever written, and they need it needs to be taken seriously. It's just as important today as it was 250 years ago, and will still be just as important 250 years now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you take the time, take 10 minutes out of your day, to read the Declaration of Independence this 4th of July, and say Happy 4th of July to anyone you see, even if they're on the opposite side of the political spe spectrum from you. Uh, thank you so much, and I look forward to bringing you another video on Monday.